Hey, how's it going everyone? This is your boy JT in Depth, and this is my official review on Dragon Ball Super Episode 65. Uh, let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so much stuff that happened in this episode. So let me go ahead and get right into it. All right, so at the beginning of the episode, it was Vegeta and Goku versing off with the new fusion Zamasu. Now, like I said in my prediction, he was angelic as fuck. That little shit around him, fucking Halo, didn't know it was a Halo because it was big as hell. I thought it was he was getting crucified or some shit. Not even that. It's just the whole aspect of it. Like, he looks like he's actually a god, and he is a truly formidable foe. Now, when Goku and Vegeta even tried to get close to him, man, he zapped him. Clean zaps. Those little red, deaf, sharp shards he's shooting, just demolished him real easily. It wasn't even funny at that point. During that scene that was happening, they shot a side scene that was showing that the refugees that were getting into the crossfires as uh, Super Zamasu was actually attacking Vegeta and Goku. Now, this is very peculiar. Now, it appears that the lights that they emit actually target onto more, I want to say mortals. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say that. It targets onto mortals because when the guy came out of the tunnel to see what was going on or they were running because the whole thing was shaking because they were feeling the force of, of Zamasu's godly light, he went out there and got zapped instantly. Like he was done. Turkey fried, deep fried chicken. Also, when that was happening, they stripped over to different scenes of the earth. And guess what, guys? We saw Ader. Yeah, Android 8, Ader. I can't believe we saw him. I didn't even know he was still alive in the future, but apparently he's in the Alps in the mountains somewhere just living life. Don't know why he's not helping. I mean, but, you know, he's not that strong <laughs> compared to the power levels now. But it was just interesting to, to see that they showed him. It's, it just brings me to think that everything's tied together and there's thoughtful story and imagery that was displayed in this episode. Now, anyway, back to this man, Super Zamasu. He is powerful, okay? He freaking formed this crow-like raven and shot electric energy traces of death upon Goku and Vegeta. So they actually were down. They even took off their god key and put them back to black hair. And then Goku and Vegeta got up and they were going to charge at him. You know what? Let's go full power! And they went full power straight at uh, Zamasu. Now, Zamasu was caught off guard. Now, he's sitting there thinking his little raven thing was going to you know, stop him down. And he was shot, I don't, which I don't know why. It's freaking Goku and Vegeta. When Vegeta and Goku say they're going to go full power, they're going to go full power. So they, they dodged whatever they were doing with the raven and went there and cracked the raven open and he died. Okay? And his monster was like, what the fuck? You know what? And then Goku and Vegeta were still flying at them, hit them both simultaneously with a punch, and here's the monster like, oh, no. Oh. You defiled me for the last time. You're not, you're not, I repeat, you're not going to touch a god ever again, ever again. This is not happening. <laughs> freaking grips and then like breaking the freaking bone or breaking the arm of Vegeta and Goku. It looked like it hurt. And then threw him down, uh, uh, just threw him down like it was nothing, like little rag dolls. And then both Vegeta and Goku went down, they're going out and then hear Trunks flying in to save them because Trunks, during that whole aspect was actually protecting Mai and his mother because 
you know, they got to fix the time machine. You got to get the hell up out of there. <laughs> now, Trust came in, and he was like, you know, I'm not going to let you. So he turned his post-God mode. I, we got to figure out a name for this. Please, Victoriama, think of a name for this freaking form, please. So I cannot stop calling it this post-God form, which is not a God form. Now, he went in there just straight with his sword, cutting up. It makes me wonder how strong that sword is, man. Like, his, I don't know if y'all keep up with the manga, but the manga, it appears that his sword is actually the Z-sword, and the Z-sword is actually supposed to be the strongest sword. So what happens if in this timeline that that sword is on his back is actually the Z-sword? Now, and if that is the Z-sword, it explains a lot of how he's cutting all these powerful attacks. Because no regular sword is going to block Super Zamasu's attacks. I'm going to tell you that right now. Shit ain't happening. Not happening today. I don't even believe that for one bit. Now, um, as he was slicing up the energy, well, he tried to do a serious burst attack, but like I said in my preview, freaking Zamasu can't even touch him. He just blasted him down, and this is what freaking, oh my, did y'all see the father, son, gallant gun? Did, did y'all peep that? I peeped that. So I was just like, Gallagher! And then freaking Zamasu threw this big energy death ball thing. He named it, but I forgot the name. And then they were colliding, and then Vegeta stood up as he was down and out. And he was like, let's do it, son. And they both did the father-son Gallagher. Man, it was epic as fuck when that happened. Zamasu didn't have a chance. That blast, like, you know how usually in a Dragon Ball Z franchise is kind of tied for a little bit. No. Instantly, it was pushing Zamasu's back. And then when Zamasu got hit by a man, he, he had his face of an awe. His face was like, You fucking. That hurt! He felt like he, he had so much pain. And it was just like, What? It hurt him so bad. So he was actually. He shot a death blow towards Trunks, okay? Now, when that was hurling, Vegeta stepped to the side. No, I will protect you, son. And oh my god, blew off his whole arm. Now, when that happened, Zamasu was pissed, and he looked over at Son Goku. He was like, Son Goku. Goku was like, you know what? Call me. Call me. Call. And then freaking released the Kamehameha wave towards freaking Zamasu, and they're in a freaking clash battle during that Kamehameha, and then cut! Next episode, Dragon Ball Super, episode 66. Man, if you like this review, give me a big thumbs up, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, do what you gotta do, and let it.